Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and install free Android 13 on your Raspberry Pi without any hassle. So let's go ahead and do it. First of all, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 2GB version and a 16GB SD card to install this setup. So the SD card is plugged in. Let me select the choice, not now. And from here, I need to open the Raspberry Pi Imager. And from here, we need to choose OS and let's move down to here, premium and paid for OS. Let's click on it. And here is the OS Android by Amteria. Let's click on it. And here is the OS itself. The online version will take some time to download depending upon the speed, the internet speed that you are using. Let me just go ahead and select this one and choose the storage at 16 gigs and start writing. Yes. Let's ask for the password. Take in. Now the writing process start. It might take uh, up to five to ten minutes depending upon the speed of your sd card and the card reader if you're using a good sd card and a card reader it will write faster so i'll fast forward the video and get back to you in a moment now the sd card is ready to use uh, let me just go ahead and close the raspberry pi imager and uh, Turn on the Raspberry Pi. I have already take out the SD card and plug it into my Raspberry Pi. Now I'm going to turn my Pi on and check the installation process of Android 30. Now the Pi is turned on and uh, start the U boot process. You can see the beautiful logo and it's moving again, rebooted. So you can see the Impria logo now. With the android symbol on the bottom android logo now we are on the waiting for the system to get ready it might take a moment to load now the system is booted up you can see the emperia logo let's go ahead and click on next for the next step and united english united states english and from here you need to select the time zone and date and everything so i selected the time zone now let's click on next and uh, let's configure the Wi-Fi it only support 2.4 gigahertz so I'm connecting and next after that we need to just click on next we don't have to activate it because we are using a free version so let's click on next and then okay it says the device doesn't have any provision or customized settings to apply for that please pull the latest version from Imperia OS or you can just click next to skip the step and uh, let's scroll down and agree and click next again and start the Imperia OS now you can see the Imperia OS is installed and it's working here uh, let's just click anywhere on the screen and Try to open anything. Drive two apps next, next. So, this is the calendar app, and here are the dots you can select, and from here you can choose the apps and everything. From here, here is the Emteria kiosk mode. That you can use and from here you can select the Raspberry Pi settings the resolution is on 1921080 you can do customization here and to go back here is the button let's click on Imperia settings to check what it offer so Ethernet SSH server device activation okay check for updates let's click here and see whether any updates available or not 
we have already downloaded the latest operating system so don't require any further update here is the phone app and uh, let's just click on app droid and now so it's updating the repositories so this is up and running now so we can download the apps from app droid application we can move to categories and here you can see all the categories to download so let's search for something i want to install vlc on it and vlc is available let's click on the download button and see whether it's downloading or not so it says for your security your tablet currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps so settings and then once the setting open will allow from this source once this is done we can go ahead and install the vlc app so vlc is done let's try one more app if it's working or not so let's go back and search for it youtube youtube is not available let's try firefox Firefox is also not available. Chrome, what is this? Bromite. Okay, so Bromite is the web browser available on this build. Uh, we can try and uh, look for something, or we can just try to play YouTube here. Let's just click this trailer. So it's working, but uh, the app is not exactly working. So in my next video, I'll try to modify some settings to make it work faster and try to download and install some apps and show you the update in the next video so this is it for this video if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification for my latest videos thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day